Well, hello, YouTubers. Okay, well, doing this with air. It's um, it's a pioneer. I think I've got one on on YouTube. The same one. I was waiting for the actual uh, motor to come in. Brand new motor. Okay, well made. Unfortunately, China, China, made in China, but it's original, so yeah. Anyway, so brand new motor, well priced, been tested. I bought two of them keep one in stock I think I've got another one of these this one's going to be up for sale on our website and uh, on YouTube cleaning it up so I can put the uh, beautiful belts that we manufacture in here in Australia okay these are the belts we many well they're made here they're made in Dandenong the guy's got a little factory, very small actually, small factory. He manufactures rubber, rubber stuff, you know, um, yeah, automotives and electronic stuff. So uh, we're happy that we found him because we're sick of buying from overseas. They're just too expensive. And not only that, you just got to wait for shipping and all that. So beautiful rubber, Australian rubber. Yep. So, okay. Just a little story. Um, just hang on, hang on. Let me see what what uh, what kit. I sold the kit on um, on um, eBay. I'm not going to mention the guy's name or or his eBay ID. I'm not like that. So So the uh, where is he where is he where is it where is it? Okay, so it's a kid that we, you know, as I said, you know that we're going to try and sell on eBay and on our website anybody that needs kits on their um, tape decks we're happy to accommodate them you know and um, yeah so where is it where is it let me have a look <coughs> Okay, so we sold the kit. Okay, this unit. Okay, basically is the CT three hundred. Okay, Pioneer, Sifocon, Tifotoni, three hundred. Top tape deck, very nice tape deck. Uh, unfortunately. We sold the kit and I'm just trying to find it. Okay, we sold the kit. We sold the kit um, CT320. Okay, all right. So this is the 300 and the CT320 is the same kit exactly the same kit we found that out i have a friend of mine in europe he sells on ebay as well uh you know uh turntables and belts and tape decks so on so on i used to buy the kits off him at a uh, wholesale price but uh, look i just decided to you know basically find a manufacturer that will manufacture our belts and, and i did 
Uh, so, cut to the chase. Because we help each other. I've known this guy for a long time in Europe. And, uh, yeah, and he gives me measurements and all that. So he helped me out because the kit that we've put, we'll put it in the, uh, in the wrong section on, uh, on eBay. Anyway, so basically, yeah, he said, no, it's exactly the same kit. Yeah, yeah. There's, uh, three belts and basically that's it. Yeah. So, okay. Because I'm just cleaning this one out. You can see, yeah. it was really gunky and uh, yeah, the old belt. Just you've got to clean them. You've got to take the mechanism out. Simple, simple. You have to take the mechanism out to clean here. Got to clean there. You know, you know what I mean. So just to show you, you got to clean the wheels. Because <laughs> the old belt gets sticky, right, and gooey. And you can't do nothing about it. Make sure if you're if you're sensitive with anything, wear gloves. I don't care about my my hands. I've got ugly hands anyway, so I'm okay. I don't get rashes, whatever. So okay, the original belt they're wide. Okay, these are not. Doesn't matter. They work just as fine. Okay okay so in my opinion they work even better so when you put it on okay so that now you send me a photo tell them the kit he sends me a photo and he says oh look you know got a problem i've taken some snapshots so i'll send them to you some photos uh yeah so it it works fine as long as it's the right measurement it'll work fine because the belt was uh, wider, the original, that's fine, but that doesn't mean anything, all right? Okay, now, so he sends me an actual um, uh, photos, two photos, and he said, oh, I'm having problems. I put the belt on and, you know, it's um, uh, slipping. Yeah, okay, all right. Well, that's why I'm doing this with our, just to show people, okay, that it works fine, okay. I prefer them thin, that's what I gave the actual manufacturer, this is how I want them, and I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, and uh, he just, yeah, he just said that, anyway, looked at the photos, <sighs> I can't put them on here, but anyway, I just LOL myself, laughing out loud. I said, you're kidding. Look at the dirt on it. There's still grime of the old belt. So basically, he's put the actual belt. Okay, he's put the actual belt. With. The old belt, the old gunk. So, when it's spinning. If anybody knows this, this. When it spins, she's grabbing the old rubber, the old gooey rubber. It's gooey, right? And you can damage the actual belt. You can damage the new belt. So I asked him, I said, you haven't cleaned it, man. You haven't cleaned the actual, hey? The tape deck properly. You haven't cleaned it. Simple. He goes, what do you mean? He goes, I've done my best. I said, well, your best is not good enough. You need to pull out the mechanism and pull out the motor, pull out the old uh, belts, all the, the mechanism, and you've got to clean the unit properly. And he's like, not carrying on, but he's just saying, uh, I said, look, man, <laughs> I'm a tech guy, all right? I do this for a living not full-time but I do it for a living okay I've been in you know a tech guy for over 25 years okay and he didn't say nothing like he, he quiet very quiet and listened to my my words 
I said you need to pull the mechanism out if you don't know how to pull the mechanism out why are you touching the unit surely where you live you must have somebody I think he's in back of Smarsh I'm not too sure but anyway I won't say anything else but there must be somebody there at tech or send it to us all right we will charge but send it to us you know post it send it by Korea it's gonna cost yeah sure but for crying out loud really a tape deck like this you're gonna ruin it <sighs> okay so anyway so basically um, I said well you need to clean the mechanism out pull it out clean it out get all that rubber out I said, uh, alcohol and then uh, clean the rubber with acetone all right gentle gently so I'm, I'm telling him you know basically how to do it anyway and um, look at that beautiful spring action anyway so um, yeah I said yeah do that and get back to me or whatever he didn't get back to me so must be he done it or whatever or the belts are gone the, this top this one here the main one actually and and yeah and and yeah the, actually all of them because yeah oh, and these two here so basically uh, he probably ruined them and I, and, you know, i'll supply him again no problem so he's got to pay me that's all there is to it you know said so i'm happy to send you another bell but you know i need to get paid and he, we just left it at that so you know i don't think he was happy but that's his problem he he wanted to do it i sold the kit only so yeah and if he asked me on ebay oh if i buy the kit plus your, your you know your labor how much would you charge i, I would have told him given given him a price and ship it out to me and i'll basically uh, ship it back to you at your cost so look i mean you know the situation is he didn't get back to me so i said to him uh, stay in touch and let me know i'm here to help people all right i'm not to just shrug them off but look you know i don't think he was happy so but that's his problem not mine i'm i'm, I'm sorry i'm not into this uh this uh this rubbish that you know he's gonna basically blame the belt and on the photo he had it twisted like do oh he goes no nah, that's because i can't put it back in so how did you put it back in mate did you stretch the belt and he didn't say nothing he just said no no i'll put it in okay fair enough i reckon he stretched the belt you know i mean it can stretch not a problem <laughs> But I, I reckon, yeah, I reckon it's probably damaged it. And uh, yeah, you need to pull the mechanism off to clean it properly. This has been fully cleaned, waiting on the motor, waiting on the actual motor. Uh, and I just, you know, this is the this is the motor that I was waiting for, brand new. It's going to be there because it's got to be the right, uh, you know, RPM. So it's 2,400 RPM for this type of deck. So don't just put any motor. You can't. <laughs> it's not going to work. You know. So see, that's the RPM. I've got too much glare. Okay. So anyway, you know, look. I mean, I the old motor was. I pulled it apart. It was just gone. It was gone. You can fix them, not a problem. You can, you know, um, put a bit of oil, nice, clean them up, but you got to pull the whole thing out, which I did, and basically it was gone. I threw it in the bin. So it was a good price anyway. So, so now I'm going to put it in, and um, yeah, we'll take it from there, but just unbelievable you know that i mean you can just 
I don't know, you know just whinge about it I guess you know it just carries on oh man people I tell you So, I mean, if you're going to do something, do it right. Don't, you know, don't have a whinge and bloody. Do it, you know, I said take your time. Look like you rushed. Well, you can't rush. You know? Can't rush. But anyway. Yeah. Okay. Sort of a bit to do, but just to show you the belts. Okay. See that? Look how beautiful it is. This is why you need to clean it. This is why you need to clean it. Running perfect. You need to clean. You don't clean, you ruin the belt. Simple. Simple. And you need to install the mechanism properly. You have to. If you don't, you're in trouble. Look how beautiful it's running. See that? That's with our belts. That we get manufactured in Australia. Made in Australia. So it doesn't have to be wide. As long as it fits nice. The right measurements. Not a problem, you get no problems. All right, so basically, you know, the beautiful belts that, okay? So, so we sell them on eBay and, and on our website. I'm a bit slow today. All right, so, shall continue on. Look at that, how smooth and correct see that look so i'll put this on ebay with the recording okay so this is the pioneer ct300 okay pioneer c3300 and we'll be putting the actual um, CT320 belts as well, which, okay, which is the same. It's exactly the same kit. All right. So if you've got a CT320, uh, not a problem. It'll fit. 
okay not a problem okay so I'll stop it here this recording and then I'll put on YouTube and then I'll, I'll put on eBay and on our website so this is this belt is for the actual um, uh, CT 300 Pioneer tape deck and the 320 as well CT 320 okay this kit all right thank you bye
Okay, beautiful. Look at the belt, beautiful. Yeah. It's our design, our design. You don't need, you basically don't need a thicker belt. Sorry, sorry, sorry. A wider belt. Okay? All you need is a belt that fits perfectly. So, we're going to put them on our website. And, um, my mate in, um, in Holland, he's going to send me the actual sizes. Because I've only got, you know, all the other decks. So basically, uh, yeah. And then we'll give it to the manufacturer in Dandenong. And he'll start manufacturing them. Yeah. Probably I'll order, you know five kits of each each um, model yeah this is, we've got uh, the uh, uh, keep on forgetting the CT 300 and the C310 or 20 sorry 10 or 20 yeah that's all I've got at the moment because we just started this so yeah. and he'll only do it for us yeah that's it no one else So, at least we're doing something in Australia, eh? Support Australian jobs. I think he's got about four guys full-time in there. Because they do other things. They do other things. They, they're not going to do just my stuff, you know. It's just not worth it for him. It's not enough money. You know. So, yeah. So, anybody's after this model... Anyway, it's already on eBay, two models, so we're going to get the Nikamichi, we're going to get the um, Mitsubishi, uh, uh, basically um, Sansui, we're going to do reel-to-reel, we're going to do turntables, he's going to be doing turn he's gonna be busy, we're going to be doing turntables, so it's going to be good, but it's going to be a long process, unfortunately that's the way it is, it is what it is. I don't argue about that. As long as it's made here, I don't care. Install new caps. All new caps. All right, I'm very happy with that. All this is new. Yeah, so. So, yeah. A couple of transistors I had to replace. But all the ICs are basically um yeah they're uh, they're okay they were good very good actually even the transistors i just changed the caps i did a recap job on this so you're getting a basically a new item so it's working you know i'm gonna put on youtube a bit of music i might put a bit of tom jones or uh, Ingleberg Humberding, yeah. yeah, the old, the old music. I love the old music. So yeah, so look, it's a beautiful unit, you know, well designed, highly regarded, pioneer, very highly regarded. Pioneers are all highly regarded. So, <coughs> excuse me. It's just a beautiful machine. Look at the balance. See, see the balance? Hang on, sorry. Oh, I can't get this stupid camera. See the balance? It does not have to be wide. As long as it's the right, okay, size. Okay. And this guy that I get these, the rubbers from, I mean, he's just, his rubbers made here in Australia. I mean, you're not getting, uh, you know, anywhere else. It's just made in Australia, manufactured here. And I'm very proud of myself that I found this guy. I'm very proud. Did a lot of search. Very hard to get somebody to just do one of these, one of them. But he's, he was willing to do it. 
and I promised him, you know, I said, look, you know, um, I'm going to give you, you know, high-end turntables, you know, tape decks, high-end, low-end, whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Right? And, um, and reel-to-reel. -reel. And maybe other things too in the future. And also, sorry, CD players. Sorry. I love my CDs. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, guys. So, you know... <laughs> just make sure you clean the mechanism clean the actual mechanism you need to clean the me mechanism you have to if you don't you're in trouble i'm telling you you can ruin the, the actual new belt i mean look how beautifully balanced look at that it's just beautifully balanced that's all i can say you know See that? Look at that. No slippage. It slips when you don't clean the belt. Uh, sorry, the mechanism. And you put a new rubber. Of course it's going to slip. That's what any rubber. You know? Tim. That's all I can say. Fully automatic. It's gorgeous. I'll put it on YouTube tomorrow, a bit of music, and then we'll put it on eBay and on our website. You know, I'll be asking uh, 540 for this. Yeah, so I'm going to be asking because I serviced it and everything, and you're going to get a three year warranty with this unconditional warranty. All right, so it's coming from us from Audio Classic Hi Fi. Okay. 0425 715 523 call me you need anything done call me but at the moment we're just flat out we are i've got a backlog all right so clean it but yeah. she's got beautiful caps she's got nice Japanese caps from Japan a1 a1 caps not this rubbish China China yeah that's good very happy oh it's gonna hopefully it goes to a nice beautiful home that somebody's gonna enjoy this beautiful tape deck their beautiful house yeah so well built well built can't argue about the build I'll do a nice video once it's closed put a bit of uh, Tom Jones or Ingleberg Humpering that's a bloody long name that yeah and we'll take it from there so 
I scored myself uh, from my supplier. Look at these beautiful caps. Okay. They're, um, they're Fuji caps. And they, I think uh, Nichikon took them over. T O W A Towa Towa caps. 0.22 UF 50 volts fantastic yeah brought the whole what he had in stock the brand new so again yeah anybody's after caps let me know I will I will do the actual um, update the website so any values let me know uh, you can have five five is the max I won't sell just two yeah I won't sell two five is the max any any value if I've got it in stock I've got it usually what I have in stock is Nichicon Chemicon uh, Elm uh, what they call it uh, Rubicon Rubicon I love that word Rubicon and yeah and now this brand but i've got this is all i've got in this brand oh yeah yeah bought about i think well, five thousand of these brand new five thousand it's gonna take a photo yeah, five thousand beautiful caps yeah so anybody that needs caps let me know all you techs out there if you need caps let me know because i've got a supplier in japan basically that's um yeah i've known him for a long time and he treats me like a king and he gives me very good prices so i can offer them to you guys at a good rate so yeah so all the all these caps were basically from from him from japan and they're in my stock i've got millions of them trust me i have probably got millions of million caps even more so yeah so so yeah i'll put it on the website let me know but you gotta buy five now yeah, i'm not gonna just I'll give you the price so you know, I can do you and if you've got an amp whatever a receiver you want a kit let me know give you a good price on a kit as well I'll do beautiful kits let me know so yeah so for the hobbyist too but you know look you know, yeah, I mean the hobbyist can can buy too but yeah so what I was gonna say um, yeah gold caps they're good caps very good caps for audio or for other things too doesn't matter doesn't have to be for audio yeah yeah so this has been recapped i changed a couple of diodes in there near the power supply just didn't like the look of them just got rid of them because i forgot because i can i can do it i've got stock so um, i don't need to go you know radio parts j card or uh, rs components you know i don't need to buy from them which i don't unless i'm really desperate i mean j card hasn't got nothing really it's only for the uh, i mean you know i need something like a clean you know if i run out something like that but look, they haven't got nothing really their caps are not high grade by the one I showed you, 
there's one cap that I'm very pleased with they're made in China well made high grade but you know they're not cheap either so I like them straight but it doesn't matter so yeah so basically uh, yeah all right so that's it for me today So, I'll continue on probably tomorrow or the next day. And I'll do a video of this little beauty. And, uh, yeah, we'll put it on the internet. And it will go to a, a lovely home, hopefully. Someone can appreciate quality. Okay. Good night. Stay safe.